Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kate Plays Rimworld. And we are now at an interesting juncture in our journey. Insofar as at this point, we are ready to start the endgame quest at any time. Or, I think so. I still need to check and make sure um, what the... what the uh, requirements for a Stellark's bedroom are. It's bedroom requirements, 30 tiles, 80 fine floor roll bed and table dresser drape. Which I think this comes under. Okay. Many things are happening now. So actually, I think this is genuinely an acceptable bed for the high stellar it's impressiveness 100 it is size 34 and it contains a dresser drape and table royal bread all fine floors no work production facilities so that i'm pretty sure will do it hi rosa little miss rosa has joined me on my desk she wanted me to say hi to everybody for her or more more accurately she wants to know why i'm sat in my room talking but there's nobody else here and I guess she assumes I'm talking to her. Wolverine, inspired surgery. That's interesting. Wolverine, do you even, doctor? You sure might. That's fine. Um, Paolo's shack of goodies. Right, the revolver and the shield belt? Yep, yeah, don't care. <sighs> Ash in the atmosphere will obscure the sun. Temperatures will drop, and plants will suffer for lack of sunlight. It could pass in a few weeks, or it might last many quadrums. Fuck. Oh. Good. God. Well... That's a whole thing. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep these marked for prisoners for right now, but I can. it's good to know that I can unmark the whole thing for whenever I'm ready to throw a bunch of... Uh, throw a bunch of Imperial soldiers in there. Okay. Lion, you need a jacket, bro. Wait, somebody need a jacket and a shirt? Alright, gear check. I think... Fernandez needs a shirt. And Lion needs a jacket. Now, didn't Lion wear a flak jacket at one time? Did I not tell somebody to make a flak jacket? I sure did. 50 cloth. I don't have the cloth. And it's going to take bloody ages for us to grow the cloth. And then the volcanic winter is going to kill all the bloody cotton plants. Alright. Well, I guess in the meantime, we can make a jacket. And really, Fernandez should have the other flak jacket. I don't know why I gave Zlata the flak jacket. I just got the feeling at one point that that was what I wanted to do. And I just went with that. But shit. Okay. Um, so let's make a jacket and a shirt. Tailor bench. Button down shirt and a jacket. What are we making jackets out of right now? Camel hide. Sounds good. 
Bird Skin will be able to do soon. Whoever next wants like a cool black jacket. Jet's just being regal right now. I love it's like a formal shirt and like a lovely cape over a flag vest. It's kind of like just just don't don't think she's not ready cuz she is ready. Oh, we've got another baby cave. How are you doing, male juvenile bull? You are almost up to uh, almost up to age. The jacket has been made. And everybody felt jubilation. Button-down shirt has also been created. Everybody get yourself some stuff. So now we're going to play like Ring of Rosie for the shirts. Oh, Aaron got the jacket, so Lion took Aaron's old parka for a jacket. All right. As long as everybody's good. A volcanic winter. Reducing the amount of light which leaves the surface. So it's not going to kill our plants. It's just going to reduce optimum growth speed. Well. 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 Fucking well. I mean, it's a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. Oh, Christ. It's like right when I'm about to do the thing, it throws another friggin' basically economic disaster at me. It's like, let me guess. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a red alert and I'm gonna get like dropped in on by mechs or something, right? Isn't that usually what happens next? Let's butcher many alpacas. Let's do it. We need the camel hide for making jackets. Riss and Wolverine just uh, had a bit of a had a bit of a morning tumble there. Fair play to him. Oh, the Jade Throne. Wood. We could do with a little more wood. I'm gonna try and be more mindful about keeping our wood stock up as as close to. Uh, as close to, like, full capacity as I can be bothered. Oh, no. Fernandez, I never knew you were bald. Oh, boy. Flag helmet. Oh, for the love of God, please make a flag helmet. Like, as soon as possible. 40 ingredients. <sighs> So, 40 steel, 10 plasteel, 2 components. I can deal with that. So plasteel. Lion just busying away. Crafting of 14 and growing steadily. The more you do, the more you learn, the more you know. Good lad. Go on. Break 4,000. Break 4,000. Break 4,000. Bingo. Proper. Proper work, chap. That's a good quality helmet as well. Get that on your bonds. Ideal. Are we back up to 20 grass already? Crippenies. Crippenies? I don't know what a Crippenies is. But I know what a oh damn is, and it's a one of those. Let's send Aaron to go and get his L2. Go, man, go. All right. Yark. The hippies are arranged. Fernandez, oh lord, the hair, the hair. 
What are you going to get? What are you going to get? Show me the money. So he has gotten level 2. He got Neural Heat Dump. If he doesn't have anything good by like 3 or 4, then I'll move. Then I'll move on. Okay, everybody go to sleep except Lion, who I guess just really got into a bit of night meditation there. So that's neat. We are absolutely chock full of wood at this point, so I won't have to worry about that for at least five minutes. Good grief, we go through so much wood making fuel. It's because we make fuel and we've got to fill the braziers and a couple other things too, so... Refining it into the chem fuel is more efficient than just using wood power generators, though, as far as how much wood generates how much power, right? So I'm cool with that, but that's that's a pretty significant little generator bank. A squirrel self-tamed. Everybody ignore everything you're about to see. No worries here. Cows. How is our young bull... How much is his growth? So he's getting like 5 to 10% a day. So a couple more days, he's going to be a breeder. And then he's going to get all up into some things that are related to him. And that's going to be weird. A high-powered psychic drone for females. Aaron. Wait, no, Wolverine. Wolverine just walked into party land and just barfed on the floor. You suck, bro. You suck. Aside from that, though, everything's going pretty well. Growth rate is 101%. Okay, the growth rate's not being hit too badly for a volcanic winter. Steel Equa has deteriorated. Please continue to deteriorate, you absolute garbage. Got a couple of backup weapons that we keep just in case, I don't know, like a random person runs in and is like, Ooh, protect me, protect me. Like, I've got something to hand them, you know. Major break risk on Lion? Why? The Oh, dear God, that psychic drone is rough. That needs to go away. That really badly needs to go away. Just all the all the peoples are just having a bad time here. High psychic drone. Isn't she uh isn't she psychically deaf though? Psychically dull, yeah. Jet's getting the minus thirty but doesn't care because she's so happy about everything else. Yeah, Benico is otherwise generally in a pretty good mood. And now we are getting raided. That's a pretty significant raid, too. Oh, boy. So I'm getting raided while everybody's mad. So y'all go here. Wolverine there. Aaron here. Lion, where is your defensive position two? Defensive position one. On that side. Tomboy right here. Are they attacking immediately? I never check. But I think they're attacking immediately. All right, Fernandez, go rifle, go here. Lion, go rifle, go here. And this is about to be a massacre. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, raining hell on him. Raining hell on him. Raining utter actual hell on him. This is just... 
highly unfortunate amounts of death. Although with that many bad shots incoming, it is possible we could take a couple injuries here. Yeah, it looks like we took a few injuries. But I don't think anybody got it too bad. Oh god, that was horrible. Alright. Everybody as you were. You, sir. Got a stab in the left leg, but it's not fatal. Got a cracked leg. Got a, a stabbed arm. Got a cut in the left arm. And a slashed eye, so we'll be making another bionic eye. You're basically okay. You are about to die. All right, so nothing, nothing altogether too terrible, other than somebody did get stabbed in the eye. Was that was that Aaron who got stabbed in the eye? I can't believe I've already forgotten. No, it was Jackson. It was Jackson. Okay, so at our bionics workbench, we are going to make a new bionic eye. Riss attending to Happy. Fernandez, I guess, tending to himself. Or to Happy. And then to Aaron. And then Jackson. A few other people bleeding all variously across the place. She's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. She's going to be alright. Did all those chumps make it off the map just yet? They sure did. So let's see, any of these guys good? Your bio. Trigger happy, fast walker. And you can shoot and you can melee and you can craft. How long you got? Four hours? Don't know that we can do it. We have no beds free. Well, we have no medical beds free at the very least. But like, not no, turtle. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm think about you for just a second. Anybody else still alive? Embaixada? I assume that's how you pronounce that. Shot out its left eye. I would be sorry about that, but I'm not. For your bio, you're pretty much... You're a psychically sensitive, iron-willed, and jealous fighter. Um... Who else is alive? Jaguar. Probably just gonna die. Um, you're a melee fighter, cooking animals, chemical interest, cannibal greedy. No, you're good. Worm? Worm, how are you? Fucked. There's no way I'm gonna get there in time. Am I sad about it? Psychically deaf, misogynist. Yeah, nah. I'm, I'm probably good on that. Probably good on that. So... That leaves us with the idea of I might capture turtle. Do I capture turtle? I mean, she's she's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. She's gonna level up real quick in shooting and scrapping. She's she's a fast shooter, fast walker. She can craft. Although, I, I wonder if I need that many crafters. And Jesus Christ, does everybody on this fucking planet have a chronic stomach disorder? Like, you know what, Turtle? I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're gonna die. You're gonna die out here, alone, and far from anyone who has ever loved you. Probably, I mean. Yeah, your only acquaintance... Is another man who is vomiting up blood and missing an eyeball. So I mean, it's it's not it's not looking too good for you, turtle. You have expired. Let's do this. Let's do orders allow. And let 
let's just move this entire disaster. We'll take the wood and the medicine and the beer and the joints and we'll throw your crap weapons in the pile over here to deteriorate and your corpses in the pile over here to equally deteriorate. Let's get a little bit more space out of this. You know, I could actually build a fast wall right there. Just to stop everybody walking past from having to look at all the corpses. I could do it. I probably won't. But it's, it's, it's a thought. Alright, Zillard's healed up. Everybody's getting better now. You're gonna do okay, Aaron. Tomboy's on a food binge. You know what? Go nuts, bro. Happy for you. cows have the hay grass that I assume they like I just I, I assume they're eating this and I've never really watched to find out because like whenever I have actual crops and the animals have been able to go near your crops I keep finding them eating chunks of my crops so I assume it's a thing that if they you know they run out of kibble and they run out of whatever they'll just go eat some of this hay grass right Happy is fully healed. Tomboy is just smashing the food. Wish it wasn't the fine meals, but, you know, it could be worse, I guess. Psychic drone is ending. Thank God! I could not deal with that going on for too long. Rissa, Captain, are you healthy? How many times have I got to click the health tip? Alright, Jackson is just missing an eye. But everybody else, basically fine. Unhappy nudity. Aaron, why are you unhappy about needing to be nude? Because you don't have a pants, but what if it pants, though? So let's pants. Major Cade, let's pants, Rimworld. Alright. So everybody's good, apart from Tomboy, who's real upset, but it's whatever. And also my plants that are also upset because they want to grow up to be big and strong. But it's not happening because of a freaking volcanic winter. Just thus far, lasted four days. Riss and Wolverine getting it on. I'm going to zoom out so I don't invade their privacy. Okay, now they're sleeping. Oh, she still wears the gun link during. Yeesh. Tomboy, stop eating all the good food. God damn it. Just be feel better. Just feel better. And we do still have like the package survival meals and stuff too. Which I wonder where the odd meal or two has kept going. Alright. Danny and the psychic suppressor. A 39-year-old archer named Daniel. Volcharsky is calling from nearby. He is hiding from mechanoids. He wants to flee his hiding spot and join you at Wentworth. If you accept him, mechanoids will set up a site nearby to harass you. There's a psychic suppressor machine there tuned to the male gender. Also, two mechanoids are sleeping nearby and there's a cluster of hostile mechanoid structures. The threat will remain until you go destroy it. Danny Archer no more information is available. Do I care? Or do I just leave the idiot to die alone? I am sensing the second might be much more appropriate. I'm really sensing that. So you know what? I'm sorry, man. You're going to have to make it on your own. Studly Bull. You are 92% grown. You're almost a big boy. And then you can get some other cows. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, they eat the hay grass. They eat the hay grass. My suspicions have been confirmed. I'm a genius. And then people would just come in and keep planting more hay grass. 
So that is kind of a good solution to that. I didn't kind of know if that was going to work. I'm glad it did, though. This is all the hay grass that I'm pretty sure got burnt by lightning. The lightning that struck our captain. Oh, cloth. We will have cloth before too long. That's good, because it will help us make more medicine. Which is good, because we are beginning to run low on medicine. Not for Jackson, though, who currently is going to have a new left eye. Install bionic eye, left eye. Do it, man. Install the eye. Don't stab him in the brain. I'll be mad as hell if you stab him in the brain. Let me tell you about what will happen if you stab him in the brain. I'll send you out into the middle of the wilderness, and then I will shell you with mortars until you die. Which will probably take about 147 billion hours. Now Jackson has an eye. Yes. So many people with bionic eyes right now. Benico just smoking up the whole blunt. Damn, girl. Suppose when you when you started your life in the colony with paralytic aphasia, that's uh, it's kind of a kind of a pretty decent reason. Male juvenile bull. Other male juvenile bull. So it takes them about a month from birth. Like one 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 season, right? From uh from birth to adulthood. God Brissa and Wolverine, just oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, so they've eaten quite a lot of this hay grass. Wonder if they'll they'll nibble at the uh at the shoots or whatever. So like one one thing of hay grass is kind of good for him. It just smashes that entire thing. Yeah, they they really have demolished that field. But luckily, there is a big stock of hay grass up here that should soon be done. All right. Oh, look at the cotton coming in. Look at the potatoes. Potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Riss is on a shooting frenzy. How about a not getting struck by lightning frenzy? That would be dope. Though we're talking about Rissa, who did also once famously drop a roof on her own face. So, you know, like, as far as being unfortunate goes, she's really cornered the market. All right. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, this is this is peaceful. Uh, I need Fernandez to come burn corpses. He sure loves burning corpses. There you go. Get up. Get yourself something to eat. Eat your food. Come over here. And then throw a Molotov back in there. Lovely. One like here. One like here. Maybe one like here. Should be good, sir. Thank you. Yep. Long as the corpses catch fire, that's what I'm concerned about. Burn, baby, burn. That's the good stuff. All right. And you know what? I'm starting to think that maybe Volcanic Winter be damned. It might be time 
Like, I gotta think about when I'm gonna fire the, uh, the High Stellar quest. When am I gonna do it? When am I gonna do it? Well, maybe I'll have an answer to that question in the future. And to bridge between now and then, I will simply say, that I've been Kate. This has been Rimworld. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.